Welcome to Woof Wednesdays. Today I'm going to continue my conversation with you guys about different types of vitamins that are good for your dog. Now, vitamins can be broken up in two groups for dogs, water soluble versus fat soluble. And the water ones you can give daily, the fat ones are a different story. You can OD more so on the fat ones and um, and OD not in a good way, of course. It, they can just be too toxic for your dog if you're given at high levels. Now the ones that are considered fat soluble are vitamins A and D. And vitamins A and D can be, I know you're not going to be giving your dogs, backtrack here, a daily dose of like vitamin A specifically or D specifically, but in certain supplements or in certain different types of foods you might find it and I'm going to list those types of foods out for you. Vitamins A and D Commonly, this is in like dairy products. If you give your dog any type of cheese, any type of milk, um, yogurt, cottage cheese, um, give it in smaller dosages. Um, also, fish liver oil is in um, both uh, vitamin A and D. I have notes here on the side, so I keep looking over here. Um, also, um, in vitamin A, liver and um, vegetables are also something that you would find vitamin A in. Um, your dog's like hanging out in the sun. Um, that's fine. You can get vitamin D from the sun. But also keep in mind that in dogs like Ozar, Dalmatian, they can get sunburn out there. So you want to be careful keeping your dog out in the sun for too long. Vitamin E and K are also considered fat soluble. Places where you find vitamin E and K are um, like leafy vegetables, um, in vitamin E, if more so in meats, nuts, you'd find them. You want to keep your animals away from some nuts. Um, don't always digest um, properly, as you will see later on when you go and walk them. And vitamin K, um, alfalfa, and egg yolks in there. There are some dogs that are allergic to eggs, so you want to be well aware of that as well. And water soluble vitamins, which you can give your dog pretty much daily because it can just digest it. Think of this when you have too much vitamin C, what are you going to do with it? You're just going to pee it out. And so you can pretty much think of the same thing that this is going to happen for dogs too with water soluble vitamins. Vitamin C, water soluble. You find that in the citrus fruits, like, like you find with us, and citrus um, based vegetables. Um, vitamin B1 is um, also called thiamine and that's in plants, fruits, vegetables, um, some milk, some meats, um, niacin, um, meats and meat, pro um, meat byproducts, um, B2, the riboflavin, I always joke around about that, um, organ meats and dairy products, um, I'm not too keen on giving Oz or anything that was like an organ meat, that kind of sounded gross to me, but anyways, uh, vitamin B5, which is, um, Pantothenic acid, I'm going to say that five times really fast, and that can be found in meat and vegetables. Vitamin B6, um, which I guess is found in most foods during processing, it could be an additive, it could be a preservative to help keep the food around longer. Um, folic acid, um, organ meats, um, vitamin B12, that's also organ meats and other animal sources, and then finally biotin which um, corn, soybeans, beef liver, um, also great for your dog, beta carotene, so that's carrots. Um, Oz are always loved eating the baby carrots, which I continue, would continue to give her as treats because they're excellent for their eyesight and they're just um, a good treat for them too. And then omega-3 fatty acids are also good for your dog. And I know that's a lot to take in. I have certain dosage information if you wanted to contact me as to what is considered um, a healthy dose for your dog to give them. Um, another thing that I can remind you for that is aside from the vitamins, given this situation in Japan and the tragedy that the people have experienced there, and we, we know that it does go down to their animals and their pets too. It gives us a reminder here to have those emergency kits that I spoke to you about a couple months back for your dog or for your cat. So if you need to be brushed up on those, I suggest that watch that video again, see what you need to have for them in that emergency kit so that we can protect our animals in case we have any type of tragedy either. Thank you so much for watching this week. I hope you have a wonderful Wolf Wednesdays. Talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.